So typically our days start off at around 6 to 7 a.m. That's when Jason goes to work in the morning as well as Judah wakes up for his first feeding. Today we are going to Judah's grandmother's house for a lunch and then as well we are also going to go for a little walk and go to the Human Rights Museum and it is mine and Judah's first time. So we're just getting him ready and off we go. So lunch was amazing, but as you guys can see, we are eating again. We are at Earl's, and the reason why we went was because, one, it was downtown, as well as the Human Rights Museum, and two, the free admission did not start till 5 p.m. So we just came here for the happy hour and have a little bite to eat before we went. So after we were done, we decided to walk to the museum, which was very close, and it was such a nice walk, it was such a beautiful day, and there's the Human Rights Museum. So before we left, Judah was a little cranky and a little fussy, he was just a little overtired, I believe, and so we finally got him in the stroller, and little did you know, the motion put him to sleep like all babies. He was fast asleep within two minutes. Before it was 5 o'clock, we decided to stop by the Forks Market and look at all these saltwater taffies. It was so overwhelming and Jason has never tried one before so I picked a lot of the flavors to let him try it and he actually really liked them. So here we are again with some food. We decided to get some Smokies and burgers and as you can tell, Jason approves and they are so good. The sweet potato fries were really good too. And Judah here is sleeping away, sleeping beauty. So here is the Human Rights Museum and off we go. So here I am asking Jason how was his first experience with saltwater taffies and he said they were good but the first one he had was a s'mores one and he said that it tasted more like the smoke than the actual chocolate and marshmallows and all of that. Okay, so we have arrived and this is the entrance and we're gonna head on in and there were so many people, I kid you not, but the building was so gorgeous as you guys will see. And here is the Nelson Mandela little picture frame that you can take photos in and clearly Jason was posing for a photo there. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're heading on in, and honestly, there were so many people, but it wasn't packed because the building was so big, and as you guys can see, there's a long line, but that literally took us five minutes to get through. Okay, so we are heading in now, and we just got our stamps, and it's so beautiful, as you guys can see. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you first go in, and it is so amazing in there, and I can't say it enough times. Um, there's a timeline when you first go in, and it has all the times that human rights were established. I think that's a word I can say. Um, but honestly, I felt so educated there, and I walked out with so much. And if I could, I would spend hours reading every single thing there. So here we have a little bit of a timeline of people who fought for rights and honestly it's so crazy. I'm so grateful that we live in today's day and these people have fought for our rights. I'd love to know in the comment down below um, what you guys think of human rights and who inspires you and what are you grateful for. Okay, so this part of the exhibit really made me open my eyes and it just was really, um, it hit home to me because it's about the Chinese who built the railroad and who had, the, had to pay the head tax. On the left, there are photos of head tax payers, and here is a sculpture or a model of those who had to build the Chinese railroads. So here we are almost at the top, and unfortunately we didn't make it to the very top, but um, it's apparently a beautiful view, and here's where we ended off. Um, Judo was just being really fussy, and it was a little late, and it was time for his bedtime, so we decided to leave it at that, and also there was a really long lineup to reach the very top, so we decided to go home, and off we went. Okay, so we are now home and Judah is fast asleep with grandpa here and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any video suggestions, leave them down below. Uh, see you guys in my next video.